Overall this year we're seeing uh, an improvement in patient suicide figures uh, across the UK countries. Uh, the numbers have been broadly falling in recent years uh, in line with what's been happening in the wider population. But we shouldn't be too uh, content with that. Uh, it still means that there were 1,612 patient suicides in the final year for this year's report, that's 2016. Uh, so that is a terrible uh, toll of tragedy and something we have to work uh, to bring down further. Uh, we've been particularly concerned about suicide uh, among inpatients. Uh, we've seen a steady fall in inpatient suicide over many years, but the rate at which that fall is happening has slowed down, and that slowing is continuing into the most recent figures. Suicide among inpatients is not one thing. Uh, about 30% happen on the ward, but the rest happen in people who are off the ward, uh, usually with the permission of staff. And so prevention is also not one thing. Uh, it's about making wards safer, of course, but it's also about getting care planning right. It's about making sure that the circumstances that people return to when they go and leave, uh, that they're supportive, that people aren't returning to the stresses uh, that brought them into hospital uh, in the first place. It just so happens that the government has also uh, placed an emphasis on inpatient suicide with its, its zero suicide initiative. Our findings of about 85 to 90 suicides a year uh, among inpatients translates into one or two deaths per mental health trust per year. So it's not a huge step to think about reducing that one or two uh, down to zero. We've continued to be concerned about the contribution that alcohol and drugs make to patient suicide. Uh, about half of the people who die also have an alcohol or drug problem, but only a minority are getting any kind of specialist care for substance misuse. That's why alcohol uh, and drug services are an important part of what we refer to as the 10 ways that services can uh, improve patient safety. Uh, it's about making wards safer, it's about early follow-up on discharge, not admitting people out of area, but also it's about outreach teams providing intensive follow-up in the community, about dual diagnosis support, that's having the expertise to deal with people who have mental health problems and substance misuse uh, at the same time.